All right, what's going on guys today? We are back on Borderlands 3 and today we're doing something a little bit different. Now, this was supposed to be a live commentary, but all I'm doing is farming artifacts and all that fun stuff with the uh, loot the universe. So there would be a lot of going back to the main screen and coming out of it and no one wants to watch that. That's not fun. So instead, I'm going to be talking over gameplay in the background it's just me uh farming for a elemental projector uh victory rush is what i believe i'm going for for my next amara build i think that should give away enough of what the build is going to be because i have an auto idol and with amara you don't need that she has plenty of healing so i'm just trying to find one been at it for a couple hours now and the reason I'm even bringing all this up is because of the new vault card that came up and one of the items that came with it that has thrown half the community into a spiral of hatred and the other one in not really like ecstasy, but like the really happy. And this is one of the huge problems with the Borderlands community. Now, before I get into that, if you guys like these discussion type of videos that I can put in between my build guides since they take so long for me to make, since I do farm my own loot, it does take a while. I don't download stuff or save edit anything. That's just not fun to me. And I have been getting back into this game finally, so I'm not going to kill my vibe by just editing shit in or downloading stuff off of other people's guides. That's just not fun to me. Now, I also have a lot of time on my hands not really i guess outside of work i'm not working this is usually what i'm doing so i can do that but besides the point anyways if you guys do like this please leave a like down below if you guys don't like this type of content comment down below what you do want to see relating to borderlands uh playthroughs uh more discussions or just whatever else you guys want to see maybe it's just me running through uh takedowns or challenges whatever it's Whatever you guys like, any type of feedback is very greatly appreciated. Now, the Schluter Relic. Artifact. Relifact. Whatever. Doesn't matter. That's what is the topic for this video. Now, half of the community says that 2K, or Gearbox, whatever, is destroying the game, making it too easy, making legendaries not feel very legendary, and stuff along those lines. And the other half of the community is very happy that they can now get more legendaries, you know, and it is, excuse me, it is only, uh, what do you want to call them? World drops. It's not dedicated drops. So I think they did the best possible solution for the problem that they had at hand. The problem that they had was when the game first came out, a year to however long it's been. It's been too damn long. I'm getting too old. Um, time's irrelevant. Uh, when the game came out, world drops were extremely common, like just as common as purples and blues. Sometimes I even felt they were more common than purples or blues. And that did two things. One, made legendaries extremely accessible to everyone. And it made... But at the same time, it made the game less replayable because there was less farming there had to do. And at the same time, when it came out, I believe there was no dedicated drops. If I remember correctly, there was either no dedicated drops or very, very, very few. The majority were all world drops, which made it really hard to know where to farm or what to do. So Gearbox changed that. They heard everyone's outcries and they gave, they made a lot of enemies uh, respawnable. They made a lot of enemies have loot pools now at first they were extremely clustered now it's not so bad like some enemies still have two to three dedicated drops and other people only have one but it's better than where we started and i think we can all can very much appreciate that and see how much they decrease the world drop rate now i can play through the, now when i play through the game i hardly ever get um world drops i hardly ever um get a bunch of extra world drops when farming bosses which 
in my opinion, that's just how I like to play the game, is I like stuff being rare. I like having to grind because it makes it feel more of like an accomplishment. But there's also people that play the game very, very casually. And when I say casually, I don't mean the people that get on every single day and put two, maybe three hours in. I'm talking about somebody's uh, dad who just got off of work and has some time on the weekend and he can put in an hour or two every weekend or every other weekend. Those are the type of people that I'm talking about, those casual players. They don't have the time or or means to get the gear that a lot of the hardcore players uh, want to be able to have to grind for and not feel like it's quote-unquote handouts. Now, when they switched over to Mayhem 2.0 and did the dedicated drops, it made Legendaries back pretty close to Borderlands 2. Not exactly, but close enough in my opinion. So, they gave us the Schluter, which at first... At 100,000% uh, increased legendary chance, that was ridiculous. You couldn't even see the map if you did a slaughter shaft or the cistern of slaughter, any of that stuff. You couldn't, there were so many legendaries. That was outrageous. So they backed it down to 1,000. If they would have done 1,000 or even 10,000, you know what? It's only world drops. And you're trading out a lot with that. You're trading out uh, Pearl of Knowledge, um, Elemental Projector, Icebreaker, all this stuff that can give you V1, V2 damage that can drastically affect your build, really, depending on what kind of build you're running. So, like most flak builds with their uh with the pearl, is it's kind of not necessarily needed, but it does help out a lot. You throw in a shooter, you're losing 90% of your damage right there. Or not 90%, I guess, since it technically yeah. You lose what, half your damage, maybe? You lose quite a bit. It makes a big difference. But in exchange for that, you can get more world drops. Now, with this Luther Universe event, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna test it. And I'm when I say test it, I mean go off of my perceptions, what I'm seeing. And I did it for an hour with the Schluter on and an hour without the Schluter on. Now, here's what I noticed. While farming artifacts, I was getting Probably with the Schluter on, I would get, um, I'd say anywhere between five and ten, uh, legendaries, whether they were artifacts or any other type of legendary. I'd get between five and ten, which is a pretty high number. Let's be, um, conservative here though and just say ten to fifteen. I took it off, and sometimes I would only get one to five. So there was, a noticeable difference, I will say that. But this is including having the uh, Loot the Universe event on. When the Loot the Universe event isn't on, it's basically back to where Borderlands used to be when the free game first came out. That's how I see it. Now, the people... This is me. I'm going to talk to the hardcore community right here when I say this. It's not the worst thing on the planet, okay? It's not even a problem. If you ask me, because what are world drops? They're a bunch of random crap, and most of it's unusable anyways. Now, to some people, it's not. So someone finds a Maggie, and they don't want to go to Turnkey Tim or whoever drops it over there. Look, at they just got their Maggie. Okay, it probably has a crap annoyment anyways. Now, that's the biggest thing with Borderlands 3 and why I say the shooter is not a big deal. Because weapons don't matter if they have crap anointments. Now, some of them, it's a different story. The DNA that you'll be seeing me use, if you have a crap anointment on that, yeah, it doesn't make that... Let me rephrase that. It does make a big difference, but it is completely viable without it. You can play through the Malawan takedown, yeah, the Malawan takedown, without a good anointment on it. Not no problem, but it's doable. And another thing with the shooter. It doesn't unlock Mayhem 4 or Mayhem 6 weapons to be able to be world drop. They still have to farm for the super OP stuff. So, I mean, realistically, the Schluter is only helpful for these Loot the Universe events. Because after this, it's going to be completely useless. The only thing that's helping that makes it useful right now is the fact that we can get class mods and artifacts 
or whatever you're farming, sniper rifles, pistols, wherever those drop, I don't even pay attention to those. I don't need anything. I'm literally only looking for class mods and artifacts at this point because of the reroll machine, which was a fantastic idea. Gearbox, I love you guys for that. That was a blessing in disguise because having to not only farm weapons, but farm elements. And on top of that, um, anointments. And if you're a really big min-maxer, like, I guess I can be. I'm not, I don't really care that much. As long as it has the element and the anointment that I want, I'm set. But especially for the people that do care about weapon parts and want to have the absolute best of weapons, anointments add another layer on that makes it extremely, extremely difficult. I remember playing Borderlands 2 and putting fucking 20 hours in for one weapon for that had the right element, right prefix, and the right weapon parts. Prefix and weapon parts can go hand in hand on some things, but not others. Sometimes prefix really doesn't matter, but for the right weapon parts and the right um, element, that took forever. Now you're adding on another, not constituent, whatever, another factor. That's what I'm looking for. Another factor into the mix. And that, that does a lot. That uh, can double or even triple the amount of time it takes because as you add, so let's say you're looking for one specific thing. Okay, that's one in eight. Now let's say you have two things, one in 16. Now this one item has three things on it that you need. That's like what, one in 32 or one in 64? I don't, fractions. It's, <laughs> you, it gets exponentially harder and harder and harder every single time you add a new factor into the mix. So when Borderlands 2, when we had just to worry about elements and weapon parts, it was a lot, not easier, but it was a, it was a lot easier to manage. But now we have to worry about elements. Some people worry about weapon parts and anointments. It's just, it's, it's just, it has made the game a lot harder to get the weapons that you really want. So having the reroll machine, which admittedly can easily be exploited anyways, um, not so much for console players, but like especially for PC people, that can be exploited to be used infinitely. That, we're not talking about that. We're not going to talk about the exploited part because people are going to exploit one way or the other. I don't really have a problem with exploits anyways. Like, look at Borderlands 2 Salvador. He is an exploit, and everyone loves him. That's not the big deal. The big deal here is if people want to get world drops, let them. It's not that big of a deal. I know some people have ego trips about this and love bragging, but... In the end of it, once Wonderlands comes out and once Borderlands 4 comes out, it's not going to matter. It really isn't. This is a single player game in the first place. It doesn't affect you. If you play online, okay, maybe it does affect you because someone's going to be doing a little bit more damage than you. What? 25%? But it's just don't play online then. And still, it doesn't make them do anything to you to affect the way you play the game. You're all killing the same enemies together. It does not affect you negatively like it's Call of Duty or Battlefield. It does. It's not the same thing. But another thing I wanted to add on with the anointments is some people might say, well, who cares about weapon parts? If you're talking about um, elements and anointments and elements and weapon parts, it's two and two. It's the same thing, right? Not necessarily because weapon parts are fixed. There's only, what, eight or nine of them? In Borderlands 2 weapon parts and only five elements four four el okay not everything can be explosive because that's only Torg so we'll say four okay in this game there's 20 plus anointments and there's six six elements seven if you want to include explosive like that also is a factor that goes into the equation which makes it a lot harder that's the major difference why the reroll machine makes sense, but not in Borderlands 2, a weapon parts machine, which I'm not really sure how that would work. I feel like that would be worse than just farming, to be honest, because you're not changing one factor, you're changing two or three, sometimes four, depending on how many parts the weapon has. 
So this was just my two cents into the situation. And the TLDR is if you want to use it, use it. You're going to lose out on damage and it's just going to bring you uh, world drops anyways. It's not a big deal. If you don't want to use it, then don't. That's fine. After the Loot the Universe event ends, I'm probably never going to fucking touch it again because I don't care about world drops. I really don't. If I'm running through an area, more than likely it's through the trials or through the t takedowns just to get to the boss to get to their dedicated loot anyways. It doesn't change the game for me. Some people like having an ego trip. That's it's not my problem. It's not your problem. It doesn't matter. Those people just like to show off on the internet because they have nothing better to do with their lives. So I'm going to leave it off there. If you guys enjoyed, please hit the like button. Comment down below if you like this type of video or if you guys wanted to see something else. And if you really like and feel my channel's worth it, hit that subscribe button and you can stay up to date on every upload that I have. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.